If you want some FIFA 23 coins, please check out MMOXP.com. Their link is down in the description. They're fast, cheap, and reliable. And if you use code REMA, you can get yourself a 5% discount. So what's up, guys? It's Ash here, and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, guys, we've got some 4231 custom tactics. Now, these are different to a lot of my 4231 videos because we've actually adapted Boras Legends 4231 tactics, but we have changed them a little bit. Now, the reason for this is because Inception made a video talking about rats in FIFA, and I noticed I was being a little bit ratty and I wanted to change that because you know since I've done this I've actually had a lot more fun and I've honestly played 10 times better so here we go guys for the defensive style I like to have this on balance because I like to press when I want to press and I like to drop off when I want to drop off so having it on balance makes the most sense now in Boris's video he had this on 40 but I like to have this on 42 just so it's a tad wider when defending so you can deal with narrow opponents and wide opponents at the same time now for depth originally this this was on 60 but I like to have this on 55 because I noticed my defensive line was just slightly too high with the players I had uh, if I had like high defensive work rates on my full backs I feel like this would be a little bit better or if I had full meta center backs like Van Dyke uh, but yeah 55 seems to work very well for me now usually in my videos I have this on balance but honestly I've been really enjoying using the fast build-up like Bora suggested because it allows me to build up the play very quickly with these nice quick passes and honestly it just makes the game 10 times more fun for me now for chance creation I like to have this on direct passing because you get the most movement out of your players you can see in the diagram bottom right your players move around quite a lot now direct passing is something I always use in most of my formations for width when attacking I like to have this on 38 I think Boras had this on like 35 but I noticed it was just slightly too narrow for me so having this on 38 allows your players to be very compact when attacking but also have that bit of width because it's very very easy to play these short little intricate passes that way. For players in box, I like to have this on seven because you get a lot of players into the penalty box when you're creating chances, which is very easy to score passing plays. Uh, but you also have a couple of players back, so when your opponent tries to counter-attack you, you can defend it. For corners and free kicks, I think this is down to personal preference, but I just leave this on two like many other people. Now, for the players you want to use in this formation, it's very important that you have the correct work rates. So, for example, my two CDMs, Vieira and Renato Sanchez, are very good defensive players. If anything, Renato Sanchez actually fits my tactics better than Vieira. That's because he has a high, high work rate. That means whenever you're attacking, he contributes a lot. And whenever you're defending, he is in the correct positions and he also contributes. Vieira is a medium, medium. So he's actually caught out a position quite a lot of the time. But because of his high, high stats, like his very high stats, I should say, uh, he can make up for that. And he's still a beast. Um, now, for like your wide cams, you want more, like you want quicker players, you want players that can dribble, that kind of thing, and you want your striker to have the best attacking movement possible. For my middle cam, Jota, he is a very good cam because he's always in the right positions, he can pass, he's got that five star weak foot, and obviously he can shoot as well, so he's perfect in that position. For your fullbacks, you also want them to be pretty decent when attacking. I think both of my fullbacks are high-medium fullbacks, but they're very quick and very good on the ball, so I really do like that. So always take into account what your players are good at whenever you're choosing your tactics. Now, importantly, for the player instructions, these are mainly from Boras, but I have changed a couple of things. I like to have my striker on stay central. That's just because he, that's so he doesn't drift off wide, and when you are creating chances, he is always in that striker position to you know basically score the chance if you will so having him on stay central I seem to get the best movement out of him now Boras usually has his cam on stay forward but I've just taken that off because I feel like the movement is more natural when you just have them on balanced uh, for the wide cams, I just have them on get into the box for cross because it makes their movement 10 times better when you're attacking. So it's not just for crossing that they do this. For example, if you have the ball around the penalty box, one of your cams might just dart into the box so you can pass to them even. It's not always just for crosses. Uh, it gives them very good movement. Now for the CDMs, this is a little bit different. These are from Boras. Uh, I just have them on cover center because I've actually really been enjoying them 
them on balanced attack. They've been so good for me because I feel like you get more of a natural flow like this. So when you're defending, they do come back and defend. But when you're attacking, you have those extra two players to pass it around to. And it's it's really, really fun. You should, you should honestly give it a go. The cover center just means they do stay in that central position and they don't drift off wide. So you leave a massive gap. So, you know, what you can do is if you'll notice you are getting you know attacked a little bit too much you can just knock one of them on to stay back while attacking preferably a more defensive one so mine would be like Vieira uh, but yeah that is completely up to you now for my fullbacks I just have them on balanced attack because they give you that extra width which park the bus players cannot deal with it's very difficult for them to deal with and you have you know additional support when you are attacking and you can actually make some very nice plays with it but again if you are you know a little bit of a defensive player you can put them on stay back but I I'm honestly really enjoying them having them on balanced attack. I think Boras has one of I think he has his right back on stay back and his uh, left back on balanced attack, but I just leave them both on balance because I've been enjoying it. So although these might not be fully meta, they are very very good tactics and they're very fun to use. So if you do like playing football, these will suit you. I can promise you that. But yeah, that is everything for the video guys. If you have enjoyed it, I would appreciate it if you could drop it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any videos like this one. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you are notified when a video is posted. And with all that aside, guys, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And I can catch you all later. Peace.